Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing of the Void Ghost Cube. Alright, so I'll tell you guys a quick little story about this package first before I get into it. Uh, about five minutes ago, I got a, I checked my email, so I got a package, and I literally just said, oh my god, and it ran out of my room. Because this, there's only been one made of this, you guys will, I guess, see it in a second. But, uh, I can't give out too much information about the person who made it. Other than uh, the person who made it has a Facebook page. It's called Verust Cube. He made the Verust Cube that you guys saw on Crazy Bad Cuber, and he also makes all the other ghost cubes that uh, Crazy Bad Cuber has, I believe. I have a link to his Facebook page in the description. If you're interested in buying any of his puzzles, he has them all on his Facebook page. He has pictures of everything he's selling, and as well as with the price. And you can just contact him there. So, also before I get into this. I also, uh, I'm not going to have videos on these, except I already have a behind the scenes video of me solving this in the dark, because this glows in the dark, it's really cool. And then this is a ghost cube, I just stickered it with the normal color scheme, it looks really nice, I got the stickers from Oliver's Stickers, and then my mom came, or my parents came up for parents weekend and brought this ghost cube as well, as well as a few other puzzles, but I have three ghost cubes here, now I'm about to have a fourth and I'm really excited for this. So, that's that story. I'll have a link to all of our stickers in the description. Alright. There it is. The Void Ghost Cube. Okay, there's nothing else in the package. Actually, there is. No, there's not. There is a piece that has fallen off. It looks like. Which really sucks. But, I'm sure I can glue it back on. So here's the Void Ghost Cube. This piece fell off. If it was on, it would be right there. But why did it fall off? Anyways, here's the Ghost Cube. It looks kind of big. Compared to the mass-produced Ghost Cubes, it is pretty big. Let's move this bubble wrap out of the way. But here it is. It looks really nice, even with this off. Uh, so let's just do first turns. It was made from a Landland Ghost Cube. So it turns pretty pretty nice for a landland. Uh, I mean, not a landland ghost cube, but landland void cube. But anyways, it turns really smoothly once it starts turning. I think this will be a little bit harder because on the regular ghost cube, what I or I solve it based on the centers, and also this is not the exact same as the mass-produced molded versions. This is handmade. And so I am going to quickly go try and figure out how to put this back on, then I'll get back to you guys. So with a little bit of help of Crazy Glue and my friend's tweezers, shout out to Sarah if you happen to be watching this for some reason, but thank you for letting me borrow your tweezers, your lifesaver. And uh, anyways, so I just popped, or I Crazy Glued a little triangle back on to the corner, and then I just turned it a little bit, and then put the corner back in without pushing on the corner that I just glued in. And... Uh, I might just show that in a, or I'll, I'll probably put that one little clip in the behind the scenes video, but anyways, here is the Void Ghost Cube. There's only one in the world as of now, I believe, and it turns amazingly once it starts turning for a Ghost Cube. I know there is a Speed Ghost Cube in the works by Ben Puzzles, or Ben's Puzzles. I'll have a link to his channel in the description, it's really cool. He made a void ghost cube or a void cube that could corner cut and like you could speed cube with it it's really cool but anyways here's this uh, it's, again a lot bigger than the mass produced and I do not have my original handmade by the same person and also I will have uh, all the contact information in the description if you want to contact the person who made this uh, so for those of you that don't know a void cube is a 3x3 three three with no centers so let's get a pencil or two and just kind of show what that means. So I could stick these pencils in here and it can still function like a regular 3x3 three three, which is really cool. But of course they're falling out because I'm not holding on to them. But it's a really cool thing. Red KB has a video where he put a golf ball in his Rubik's The Void. Uh, so let's take a look at the sticker quality up close looks really nice so you can see right through there 
to that. I think this is really cool. I, I really don't even know what to say other than I got a void ghost cube. And I'd like to thank the person who made this. I'm not going to say his name. I'll just call him uh, Verust Cube because people refer to him as that on Facebook. So thank you, Verust Cube. I really appreciate it. Amazing work. I know I sent you a picture of it with the corner off, but I will send you a picture with it back on. And I will also send you this video. Uh, but you guys should all go purchase something from him. It's a little pr pricey compared to like normal cubes on the market, but they're handmade. It's great quality. And if this were to happen, I'm sure you guys would figure something out. Uh, I just fix it with a little bit of crazy glue and tweezers and then pop the corner back in. Now it's as good as new, but it's great quality. I'm really satisfied with the shipping time as well. I thought it was coming. I knew it was coming sometime this week, but I, I wasn't really expecting it today because I checked my uh, school mail or my email this morning and then it wasn't there. But then I checked like an hour later and then it was there and then I ran out of the room and got it. And so anyways, there is that unboxing. I will have a solve of this because I do not want to scramble it right now because I want to sort of like look at the pieces first so I know what to do because I don't have any centers to base the pieces off of. So when I'm solving like the second layer, I'm just going to have to know that like that they line up like that. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, there will be parity on this. I just realized that there will be parity because on, on a void ghost cube there are no centers and so there will be parity similar to like on the 4x4 four four where uh, the centers, you have to like place the centers. So uh, same concept I guess, or same idea. That's why there will be parity because there are no centers. So like this could be the red or the red center in one solve and then it could be the yellow one in the next or whatever. I hope that makes any, or I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of blabbering on, but I'm really excited for this. I'm just going to get this video over with, and I will have a solve video in the near future. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. This video's question is, what are some things on your bucket list? To hear the things on my bucket list, go ahead and check out my behind the scenes channel, which I will have a link to on the screen right now, as well as in the description. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.